Last year, the Menominee County Sheriff Department had one missing person search, and in 2010, they had two searches. Still, Sheriff Kenny Mark said even one search a year is just too many. He recently purchased eight personali personalized wristbands that transmit a unique FM tracking signal. TV6's Escanaba Bureau reporter Yona Gavino tells us how they work to find Menominee County residents who may wander off. It's not a watch, but it can help cut down on time. Specifically, time spent searching for people with Alzheimer's, autism, or developmental disorders who get lost. In the past, a three or four day search with rescue helicopters and airplanes could cost up to a couple hundred thousand dollars. Now with Project Lifesaver, more people can be found with less money and less time being used in the search. Now this, even though you have two, five thousand. A Wisconsin state coordinator for Project Lifesaver International trained law enforcement and volunteers on the tracking receivers. They put their skills to the test. The wristbands that emit the tracking signal cost around $300 each. Menominee County Sheriff Kenny Marks applied for a grant from the Hannaville Indian community, which paid for most of the cost. This is just another tool to improve our ability to track and to help save lives because it's very important. This is all about timeliness. Coordinator Deputy Neil Johnson said the tracking radius is limited to a mile. It can even track underwater. The success rate, um, over 2,400 searches nationwide, it's just amazing and it just needs to get out. The problem is just getting people to know that it's here. If you'd like to donate to the cause or find out how to get a wristband, you can contact the Sheriff Department and ask about the Project Lifesaver equipment. Yona Govino, TV6 News, Menominee.